Hidden high in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, there's a special place, a place like no other. Chile Colorado Camps has three beautiful locations near Estes Park, Colorado. The Land of Peaks Ranch borders Rocky Mountain National Park. Boys Trails End and Girls Trails End ranches are just east of Estes Park, bordering National Forest Wilderness Land. For more than 80 years now, four generations of Chiles have been introducing young people to the Colorado outdoors, a world of physical challenge, personal discovery, and fun. From the moment you first arrive at Chile, you'll breathe in the fresh mountain air, make new friends, and instantly begin to feel like you belong. You come here the first day and the people are, they're like, you've known them all your life. Basically by the end of the day, you know them, you feel like you're at home. They're all your brothers pretty soon. It's pretty neat. When you come here for the first time, everybody accepts you, even if you're new and they don't know you. They accept you for who you are and they make you feel like you belong. At Chile, the cabins and lodges are steeped in tradition and the awesome beauty of the Rocky Mountains surrounds you. Long's Peak at sunrise, a herd of elk grazing in a meadow, snow on the peaks of never summer range. Up here, these are everyday sights. It's a great experience. It's a fun time. Uh, you meet a lot of cool people and uh, you get to hang out like in the mountains. It's really nice. Campers who come back year after year begin to feel like they're a part of the Chile family. All the people are always really nice and Chile is just basically a family. Chile is like my second home. I feel that at camp I am truly who I should be and I feel better about myself just being here, just being in this fresh air. It's my home away from home. It's definitely a place where you come and you feel secure, you feel safe, you feel loved. At Chile, some of the most popular activities take you out of camp and deep into the mountain wilderness. You'll ride the trails in and around Rocky Mountain National Park. You'll climb into the thin and invigorating air of high mountain peaks, and you'll raft down a wild and scenic river. The hiking program will take you to the top of some of the highest peaks in Colorado. The hiking program, what I like about it is that you get to go off in the mountains and like uh, do different peaks and hike up like two or three peaks a day. When you reach your goal, you experience a great feeling of accomplishment. You get like an exhilarating feeling and you just feel so good about yourself and you look around and all your friends are there and they've helped you through it and you just feel so good. Or a hike may be as simple as spending a lazy summer afternoon by a beautiful alpine lake in Rocky Mountain National Park. Backpack trips take you far into the wilderness where your only company is your fellow campers and counselors. But sometimes uninvited guests will drop by. I like backpacking because it's, it's even better than hiking because you get to go places that you wouldn't get to go in a single day because you're out there for three to five days and uh, you get to go to places where it feels like no one else has ever gone. You'll awaken in a pristine environment, learn to cook breakfast on a backpack stove, but most important you'll learn to live with your fellow campers. At the beginning of your time at Chile, you'll help develop a code of living. The code is a set of guidelines and values that you voluntarily follow. Chile has definitely changed me as a person. It, it, I take the code 
of living very seriously. And, and you grow a lot at camp, and it's amazing to see other people grow as well because you have to live up to the code of living. And it, growing as a person at camp is different than at home because you're living in a community. It's not just your family at home, but you grow a family at camp as well, and you have to learn to get along with them. One of the most popular day trips takes you to Poudre Canyon. White water rafting down the Poudre River is an exciting and fun experience. Rafting is it's so fun. fun. And it's wet. Yeah. Woo! It's, Woo! it's so much fun. <laughs> it's really cool. rafting. <laughs> One hundred and forty horses make up the heart of the Chile Horse Program, where kids learn proper riding techniques and how to groom, care for, and saddle a horse. The horseback riding program, it's intense. It's they do they'll go above tree line sometimes, they'll just ride around wherever they want pretty much. Be ready when he comes to the gate to pull his head in. Lori has to get after him because she knows he's slowing down. Good, good. Not too much, not too much. There you go. We're just really trying to teach them a respect for the animal and, and what they can do. In the Colts program at the ranch, campers learn some of the basics of training a young colt. So do you know that you did that? Get after him. There you go. Easy. This mostly I learned from this how to teach a horse to behave and it also teaches me how to respect the horses and what their limits are. Here you get to like learn about the horses and not just ride. All right, gentlemen, we ready? Yep. Yeah, Justin's on. Every day you'll find campers riding at the ranch, working in the western ring, in the English ring, on the trail, or heading out to an overnight pack trip. Many of the overnight rides head for the outpost corral where campers learn responsibility caring for the horses. Chile has several properties for overnight camping trips. The gypsy grounds provide another opportunity for overnight rides. The younger campers always enjoy staying overnight in a teepee. It's called Teepee Village, and there's three teepees, and we're going on an out camp here. I like it a lot. It's really pretty. I like how it's out in the wilderness, and it's it's not from near the city, like where I live. In second place, we have Matt Henderson. The horse show on the last weekend of camp provides a chance for kids to show their parents what they've learned. At the beginning of each week, campers sign up for the coming week's activities. You may choose to head for the wilderness on a hike or ride, or simply stay in camp and get creative in the craft shop. Camp means doing things that I've never done before and challenging myself. And I've learned here that I can do anything when I put my mind to it. I like the way that you can choose like whatever you want to do. And there's so many things that you can do outdoors. When staying in camp, campers live in cabins. During the day, they can try archery or riflery. They can test their teamwork and problem solving skills at the challenge course or spend a lazy afternoon at Chili Pond trying to catch dinner. This place is so much different because you have so many more opportunities, so many different things you can do. You can hike, you can ride, you can backpack, you can rock climb, you can do whatever you want. Campers and counselors eat family style in one of the rustic and beautiful dining halls. It's really good, it's really good. I like Sunday breakfast the best. They give you a good variety. Not, it's not just the same things every single day. Lays on. The climbing program at Chile has two facets. The climbing wall is a great place for campers to learn the fundamentals and work on their skills. Once campers are ready, they can head to Christmas Tree Rock, where new skills are put to the test. See how there's a crack right there by your left foot? The big day for climbers comes near the end of the term when experienced campers can choose to challenge themselves on Lily Mountain. I just went up on the rope and just pulled myself across, got a good view. It was pretty nice. It was a little scary, but I had a lot of encouragement, I guess. It was, it was pretty cool. We are the girls from Trails and Chee-Ha, Chee-Ha. The Trails End ranches offer the same great program as the main camp in a small, intimate setting. Well, Girls Trails End 
you sleep in wagons. I like that. I kind of like them better than cabins because it's a lot cozier. There's only four people. We're all so close because, because we're, it's such a so, small, self-contained unit. So we're all like really united. And it's really good to have girls of all different ages. That's the best part. Campers also play a bigger role in caring for the horses. I'm gonna come hold this there. Boys Trails End is separate from Girls Trails End, but offers a similar experience. The brotherly love at BTE is just completely different than anywhere I've ever experienced. You're 64 guys together we took six almost every day. And I mean, you're sleeping in wagons and you're secluded, you're surrounded by mountains. We're secluded, so we get to know each other a lot better. We don't have any outside distractions. It's uh, sort of like a rugged experience living in a wagon. Sweet dreams of laughing through the night. Sweet dreams of campus wagons. Sweet dreams of trails. Campers from all the units come together for a popular Chile tradition, the All Camp Campfire Talent Show. Oh, it was so much fun. Like, everyone's there, and you get to see the whole big camp. And, like, everyone's all wild and having so much fun. Don and Carol Cheely are the third generation in charge. Jeff Cheely and Brooke Cheely also work year-round at the camp. The entire family provides a continuity and consistency that parents really appreciate. You know, I think that Cheely is just such a valuable opportunity for kids and it's really a, a priceless experience. There really is no place like Chile. Chile um, gives a child the opportunity to experience something that they don't get to do at home. And um, for me that was being in the mountains and being with friends from all over the world. Chile has always made a great effort to get extraordinary people. Um, the, the staff every year just continues to amaze and impress me. And I know that they work really hard at that, and it shows. The counselors are the best, the best, believe me. You learn from them as people. They teach you things, and so you, know, you trust them and look up to them. And they're always so funny and so outgoing, and they bring people that are so diverse um, to be our counselors that it's an incredible experience. The view from the Frank Chile Chapel inspires reflection. Families may join in on Sunday. Remember that story your dad used to tell? And I said, I remember it clearly. And it was about a young man. It was about a situation in a small town. I like chapel a lot because it's just a moment with myself and with nobody else, just myself in the mountains. The wildlife and mountains are beautiful. But for many campers, the thing that brings them back year after year is the special and unique friendships they make. It's so easy to make friends with. I like that um, all of the friends are really supportive and they're just really nice to you. At Chile Camp, you find new adventures, you find new friends, and you may also find yourself. You learn how to be yourself. You don't have to worry about the outside pressures of clothes and where you live and what car you drive. It's just you, friends, and the mountains. The people out here are just so outgoing and friendly and different from people back home. Like they allow you to uh, be yourself and everything and, and they accept you for who you are. I have friends from Pennsylvania to Alaska to California to Kansas. I mean, everyone's from all over, different backgrounds, but you all come together, like common interests. That's, I think that's the best part of you, that you get to know friends from around the world. Definitely the friendships you make here are the best ever.
After the sun sets, it's time to gather around the campfire, sing songs, and reflect on special times and special people. There's a song. 